same thing. Only the cursing and deluded part differ slightly, but the message remains. Christians and Jews are deluded. Sincerely, Almighty Dude of Religion of Tolerance. According to Islamic belief, Allah is the same God of the Jews and the Christians, the God of the Bible. And therefore, whenever the Quran says Allah, it means the God of the Bible too. The Quran is pretty much correct about what Christians believe, that the Messiah, Jesus, is the Son of God. Well, at least it got that one right. <laughs> What it is not correct about at all is the first part of the verse, that Jews say Ezra is the son of Allah. This verse confuses everyone, even Muslims. So much that you can see Muslims online asking what this Quran verse is and what we are supposed to do with the weird information. One of David Wood's boyfriends, uh, apostate prophet, who's now, oh yeah, I'm so cool, I got an earring. <laughs> Which is uh, kind of gay for someone like him to have an earring. But anyways, uh... <laughs> Uh, there, basically, he's saying that the Quran, chapter 9, verse 30, is an error because no Jews believed Ezra is, is the son of God. Uh, basically, there are two responses to this claim. Um, one response is that some pre-Islamic Jews actually taught that Ezra was the son of God. Uh, you know, So before Muhammad was even born, there were some Jews saying that Ezra was the son of God. In the second response and this is the one i personally favor is that some arab jews in medina believed that ezra was the son of god keep in mind that the jews of medina were not israeli jews but they were arab jews they were either arab uh, arabs who converted to judaism or, or some form of judaism or they were immigrants from other countries who intermixed with the arabs and uh so there these arab jews were 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 not Israeli Jews. These were the Jews of Medina were Arab Jews, and they some of them believed that Ezra was the son of God because they had non orthodox beliefs about the Old Testament. <clears throat> so basically, getting to the first point um, that some Jews believe this before before Muhammad or before Islam. If we read for Ezra chapter two verse forty two to forty eight. Um, it says there were some Jews who were teaching that Ezra was the son of God. So basically, you know, there were uh, there were some Jews, um, you know, before the rise of Islam, before uh, before the Prophet Muhammad was even born, that were teaching that Ezra was the uh, son of God. And for Ezra was written, I think it was written at least two hundred or a hundred years before the birth of Jesus. So there was some kind of belief in Israel, in you know ancient Israel, that Ezra was the son of God, and the reason why is because he restored the Torah, um, or he he edited uh, the Torah. So that's why the uh, Jews um, of uh, that's why the Israeli Jews, uh, some of them, some of the Israeli Jews believe that Ezra was the son of God. But this is not found in the canonical Old Testament books. So, but it, it still proves the point that there were some Jews who believed uh, that Ezra was the son of God um, before the rise of Islam. As for the Arab Jews in Medina who believed that Ezra, that Ezra is the son of God, uh, basically there were only some Arab Jews who believed this, not all. And I have the references on the screen there. Ibn Abi Wahab in his book Kitab al uh, Tawheed, pages 121 to 122, it say, um, you know, he records that a group of Jews in Medina were saying Ezra was the son of God. So only a group of Jews were, were saying this in Medina. Um, according to Al Qurtubi in his Tafsir, in Tafsir Al Qurtubi or Al Jamal, volume 7, page 116, the Quran, chapter 9, verse 30, does not, does not talk about all Jews, rather, a specific group of Jews who are living in Medina, um, which was uh, which was a city in Arabia, um, you know, and we, we find further confirmation in according to El, according to Tabari in uh, Jamil Al Bayan uh, and Tawil Al Quran, in other words, Tafsir Al Tabari, Volume Fourteen, Pages 200, 201 to Two Hundred and Three. There were some Jews such as Finas Ibn Ezra and Salam bin uh, Miskam who said that Ezra was the son of God. So basically there were 
some Arab Jews such as Finas ibn Azra and Salam ibn Mashkem, who actually said that Ezra was the son of God. Regardless, uh, according to the Arabic linguistics, according to al qurtubi the Arabic linguistics, um, in the Quran chapter 9 verse 30, uh, it's not talking, or the Quran chapter 9 verse 30 is not talking about all Jews, rather a specific group of Jews. In this case, the specific group of Jews were in Medina saying that Ezra was the son of God. Uh, so not all Jews believe this, just a specific group of Jews, according to Tafsir al qurtubi and according to the Arab uh, linguistics. Um, you know, so uh, keep in mind in Arabic, uh, the linguistics or the rhetoric of the language allows saying people to mean some people. So that's the case here. We find further conf confirmation of uh, only some Jews believing that Ezra was the son of God and not all of them in Sayy al-Bukhari 7439, where, uh, where according to that hadith, it states that some Jews believed Ezra was the son of God. Some, emphasis on some and not all of them. So this refutes the idea that the Quran is in error when it says that the Jews believe this because the according to the Islamic literature, only some Jews believe this. So, uh, you know, in order to understand um, the in order to understand what the Arab Jews in Medina were believing, we have to go to the Quran and the Islamic sources, because as F. E. Peters points out, uh, who is a non-Muslim scholar on Islam, he says the only way we can understand what the Jews were believing in Medina is to consult Islamic uh, literature because uh, we don't have uh, the writings of the Arab Jews in Medina. So conclusion, the Quran chapter 9 verse 30 is, talk is talking about some Jews in Medina. It's not talking about all Jews, just some Jews in Medina who believed that Ezra was the son of God, not all of them. Thus, the Quran is not in error here. So according to Qurtubi, according to Al-Tabari, according to, um, you know, Kitab Al-Tawheed, uh, Al there were some Jews in Arabia who believed that Ezra was the son of God. Uh, that doesn't mean all of them believed it, it's just some of them. Some of The Quran chapter 9 verse 30 is talking about some of the Arab Jews who are saying this. It do, it's not saying all Jews believe this. And keep in mind that there were um, there were some pre-Islamic Jews who held this belief according to 4 Ezra. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned. The final videos are uh, coming up. Um, you know, where I will, which will lead to the series finale of this uh, channel. So stay tuned. A lot more uh, good stuff is up ahead.